Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Welcome to another Fast Fix Friday video where I give you guys one beauty tip in five minutes or less. Today I'm going to be touching upon how to make sure your lipstick does not transfer onto your chin. You know, we're eating a sandwich. This morning I was eating oatmeal and wearing this red lip and just this motion like of just my lip. See right there right there. This motion of my lip hitting my chin leaves a half moon on my chin. And then you know what happens. We go in, we take it off with our finger and it removes our foundation or whatever makeup is on our chin. So I'll put a little bit of micellar water on a flat brush like this. This is a Morphe M432. And I'll just go ahead and remove the pigmentation from my chin. And then I'll use the warmth of my finger Maybe I'll dab a little bit more of my foundation onto my chin just to cover up anything that I may have removed. This is what we are covering today. If you are new here and you've never seen my face before, my name is Fortune. I am a certified professional makeup artist based in New Jersey. And yeah, I just love to teach you guys my tips and tricks. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's teach you guys how to prevent that whole spiel from happening. Okay, so you're gonna need four things. You're gonna need a fluffy brush like this. You don't necessarily need this one, but this is the Scott Barnes 64. A tighter brush like this, Morphe M0, but you can literally use an eyeshadow blending brush, just any kind of blending brush. A translucent powder. Pick one that's translucent. Don't pick one with pigment. I just find that anything with a little bit of pigment can kind of end up looking a little bit cakier than something that is translucent or has no pigment. And then last but not least, you're going to need a tissue. So I'm going to take the tissue and I'm going to take one of the plies off, this is a two ply tissue. Take one of the plies of the tissue and you're gonna blot your lips, taking off any of the excess lipstick. Now I'm gonna dispose of this so I don't use this one again. Translucent setting powder, fluffy brush, and your tissue. You're gonna put your tissue over your lips like this. Pick up some of that powder with that brush. and I pressed that over my lips, I did not swipe it, okay? And as you can see, it's still vibrant, still red. We did not change the color of that lipstick. Brush like this is really going to pack on the powder. So I'm really gonna push it into the brush and I'm gonna tap it like this into my chin. Can you see there's kind of a white cast? I would let that bake for like a couple minutes if you have time. That's been sitting on my chin, I wanna say for like a minute or two. Take my fluffy brush and I'm gonna pat it into my chin. I'm not gonna swipe it, I'm gonna pat it. Just to like keep it there, remove any of the excess that doesn't need to be there, but just pressing it into the skin to make it look a little bit less powdery, but the powder is still there. And just to show you guys that this actually does work so that there is no trickery. Look at that girlfriend. She ain't got no half moon on her chin. One, two, three, easy as pie. And you, my friend, are set. You know, if you eat a big greasy sandwich, if you eat a big greasy pot of pasta, like Lord knows, I cannot help you, but this is pretty foolproof. This is pretty safe proof. If you're just going about and eating like oatmeal, like I was eating this morning, you're fine. But again, if you're eating something greasy, girlfriend, you are on your own. So if you enjoyed this, leave it a big thumbs up. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know, are you gonna try this trick? Do you have a trick of your own? If you do, let me know down below. I myself would love to read it and I'm very sure that my viewers would love to read it as well. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time a new video goes live here on my channel. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.